What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk through how to set up an external hard drive. Pretty much, if you want to start a YouTube channel, it's a good idea to save all of your videos to an external hard drive instead of saving them to your computer. Videos take up a lot of space and trust me, editing them from an external hard drive is the way to go. In this video, I'm going to walk through every step. So even if you've never looked at Final Cut Pro before, don't worry, I'm going to explain everything from step one. So let's get started. All right, so welcome to my office. <laughs> and I got my laptop ready for class. <laughs> so the first thing we'll do is get the editing software, which is Final Cut Pro. And to download that onto your computer, you'll go into the App Store. And then search for Final Cut Pro in the search bar. And once you see it, you can click open if you already have it or buy. I think it was around two or three hundred dollars, but it's definitely worth it. And I think it's great. Now that you have the editing software, you can plug in the external hard drive. Once you see it on the desktop, then you can open up Final Cut Pro. And then to add a library to the external hard drive, go to file on the top left and then new library and you can rename it. I'll rename it YouTube library. And then to make sure it saves to the external hard drive, you want to click on the external hard drive on the left. And then it should say something like my passport for Mac, which is telling you where it's saving to, which is the external hard drive. And then you can click save. And once you create the new library, you'll see it show up on the top left. And I like to confirm the settings. So just make sure you have that new library selected and click modify settings on the right. And these are what the settings should look like. So media should be in library. I don't know what motion content is, but that could be in library too. <laughs> and then cache I have in library and backups I have in Final Cut backups. So that's what my settings look like. And now that I made the new library and checked the settings, I'll quit out of Final Cut Pro. And now I'll check to see that the new library I created is on the external hard drive. So I'll go over to it, double click on it to open. And now I see a YouTube library there. So from now on, I would upload and edit videos from that library. And then that automatically opens Final Cut Pro when I open it. And there it is, and now I'm ready to upload footage. And I always like to rename it. And to do that, you can right click on the name and then choose rename. This is my second hard drive, so I'll call it external hard drive two. And for another tip, I always add a folder. And to do that, just right click and then choose new folder and I rename it copies of YouTube videos. And pretty much having that folder is important during the exporting process, which is way down the road. So we'll get to that in a future video, but I always create one whenever I get a new hard drive. And then instead of just unplugging it, I always right click on it and then choose eject. And that's kind of the safer way to unplug your external hard drive. And once it's gone from my desktop, then I can unplug it. I'll link the exact model that I have in the description. And if you have a Mac, make sure you get the four Mac one and not the four PC one because there's two different types. And that's it. <laughs> Class dismissed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that you have your external hard drive set up, you're ready to start editing. In my next video, I'll review all the basics of how to edit in Final Cut Pro, so stay tuned. And for all the other videos in this series, check out the playlist linked in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll see you next week.